Hi, this is Nayaz Muhammad. Today we are going to talk about how to prepare your 3D models to be used for your kids coloring app and how to add this model to the project in Unity 3D. Okay, so let's get started. This video will be divided into two parts. First, we'll see how to prepare your model file ready to be imported on Unity and second, we'll see how to add it to your project. First, You'll need 3D modeling software it could be anything such as 3ds Max, or Maya. In this case, I am using Blender 2.79b. The aim is to have a 3D model, preferably an FBX model, and then turn it into a cartoonish or low-poly model with the texture so that kids can print that image and see the 3D colored model appear onto their mobile device. So without further ado, let's get started. Open Blender and delete the default cube by pressing X. Go to File, Import FBX, and load the FBX model you want. If it's too small just press S and scale it up. Then drag the corner to split the screen into two views. Then on the right side panel, select UV Image Editor. On the left panel, press Numpad 0 to get the camera view. Now go to the Settings panel and in the Render Settings, choose the resolution. Make it 1024 by 1024. Now, select the camera by right-clicking on the border and pressing N, and scrolling down to select Lock Camera View and adjust the model inside the camera view. After that, click Render to render it onto the right panel. Go to Render Setting again, scroll down to File, select Freestyle, and increase the line thickness to your liking. Then, render it again. Now, go to the world settings and do as shown in the video and render. If your model is the low poly, then select it and go to modifier settings and add subdivision modifier. And increase the subdivisions to smooth out the model. Then render. Now, select the model and press the tab to go into edit mode. Press U, select Project from View, go to the right panel and cross out the render result. Render again and go to the Image option. And choose to save as image. Choose your desired location to save it. It's good to always save your work, so go. Ahead and do that now. On the right panel, cross out the render result again and open the already saved image to overlap with the existing image. Now, just tweak the vertices so that it is inside the black borders. Just right-click on the vertices and drag to adjust them. Do each vertex individually as shown in the video. Just make sure that all the vertices are inside the black borders. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's recommended to hire a professional 3D modeler to do the job because it's a tedious and time-consuming process. Now finally, Go to Material Settings and add new material. Delete any existing ones if you have them. Now, go to Texture Settings, add a new texture, and select the already saved background image. Now, scroll down and select the map. Go to Material Settings again and decrease the specular intensity to zero. It is now a good time to save your work again. Finally, export to FBX. It's good to save it in a separate folder. Finally, we are done with the Blender. Now if you want you can go to Photoshop and add a background image of your choice. Just drag the desired background image onto Photoshop and now just drag that background layer behind the front layer. Use Magic Wand tool to select all the whites and press Delete. If you want you can apply a blended option of drop shadow and increase the stroke from the inside or outside to your liking. Once you're done with the settings you like, hit OK. And then save it as a PNG image. We are now done with the first part of preparing the FBX model and images. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button to get more videos like this.